This video is an excerpt from the Phi Parallel Programming Language Training Series. The series will be made available for purchase on DVD in its entirety. Copyright 2011, TechnoVenture Incorporated. UTF-8 Byte Stream Encoding. ASCII symbols have 7-bit codes. These bits are designated 0 through 6. When stored in a byte, an ASCII symbol leaves the high-order bit number 7 unused. Phi Text and UTF-8 both use this bit for encoding streamed text to files. Since ASCII is still the predominant subset of symbols that make up the bulk of many Unicode text files, these two encoding methods are very efficient for storing text files that contain characters that are predominantly ASCII. When all of the text in a file is ASCII, then UTF-8 encoded files are identical to ASCII files. Phi text encoding typically requires even less storage because of its higher efficiency. Let's now look at how Unicode flat characters, known as UTF-32, are encoded into UTF-8 byte streams. Each UTF-32 code point requires a sequence of 1 to 4 bytes to encode its value. The first byte in each sequence is referred to here as the start byte. These always have unique prefix signatures for the number of bytes in their sequences. Additional bytes, if present, are called extension bytes, and these always share the same 2-bit prefix signature. One byte sequence. If bits 7 through 20 are all zeros, then the code point is ASCII, and only one byte is needed to encode the character. The encoded byte is its equivalent ASCII code with bit 7 clear. 2 byte sequence. If any of bits 7 through 10 are 1s, but bits 11 through 20 are all zeros, then the code point occupies 11 bits and requires 2 bytes for encoding. In this case, the start byte begins with 110, leaving space for the first 5 bits of the code point. Encoded byte 2 begins with 10, leaving space for the last 6 bits of the code point. 3 byte sequence. If any of bits 11 through 15 are 1s, but bits 16 through 20 are all zeros, then the code point occupies 16 bits and requires 3 bytes for encoding. In this case, the start byte begins with 1110, leaving space for the first 4 bits of the code point. Encoded byte 2 begins with 10, leaving space for the next 6 bits of the code point. Encoded byte 3 also begins with 1-0, leaving space for the final 6 bits of the code point. 4-byte sequence. If any of bits 16 through 20 are 1s, then the code point occupies 21 bits and requires 4 bytes for encoding. Because only 24 planes are supported, bits 19 and 20 must not both be set. In this last case, the start byte begins with 11110, leaving room for the first 3 bits of the code point. Encoded byte 2 begins with 10, leaving room for the next 6 bits of the code point. Encoded byte 3 also begins with 10, leaving room for the next 6 bits of the code point. Encoded byte 4 also begins with 1-0, leaving room for the last 6 bits of the code point. Notice that the start byte of each of the four sequences contains a unique signature in its beginning bits. 
Each of these patterns always begins a sequence of known length for the purpose of decoding. Because of this, the start byte of each sequence shown at the top of each column is considered to be synchronizing. Single bit errors will limit corruption to the character that is being encoded and possibly the one that follows. All extension bytes appearing in sequences of two or more bytes begin with the same bit pattern, 1, 0. Because these codes do not uniquely identify any position within a sequence, they are not synchronizing bytes.